familiar with FGCU, then you've probably heard of the FGC for fact. We just recently put out a commercial as of January 2016 highlighting who we are and what we stand for. Started with land and a grand plan to build a university, protect biodiversity, shape engineers and pioneers, explore frontiers and spark careers, and serve local regions through the work of collegians to chase dreams, cheer teams, teach, share, improve, and prepare to bring minds awake and give back more than we take. To build a school of wonders where communities connect, inspiring those who inspire others. That's the FGCU effect. Before this commercial, the FGCU effect brand was never very established. We had a couple events and brochures, but never anything too serious. This commercial was what essentially kickstarted the entire brand. After production, this grew to be the main marketing campaign of the university. We all started to notice how much attention the commercial was starting to get. And shortly after, I was approached by Victoria Matthews with a much bigger idea. I had done artwork previously for the commercial, and they wanted me to come up with a design for this new massive mural idea they had. After about a week, we finalized the design and began brainstorming as to how and what and where and all these crazy variables you don't really think about until you're finally in the thick of it. The original idea was to paint the mural on the exterior wall of the library. But after months of meetings and group texts and brainstorming, decided on a much more unique idea. A movable 10 foot by 8 foot wall that splits in half for ease of transport. We then finalized our materials, our budget list, the design, and who we're going to do this with, and subsequently approached Chris Semino, the vice president of FGCU, who told us that he was excited to see the final product of our project and to move forward with it. We got our budget from our community partner, the marketing and communications department, and within a week, we had built a 10 foot by 8 foot wall and that was ready to be painted. My name is Victoria Matthews. My major is marketing. I'm a student brand ambassador. Today we're creating a movable mural. So the mural basically um, embodies the FGCU effect. Students are creating it. And then the day of the event, students will take part in finishing up the design of the mural. We'll be taking pictures of students. It'll be posted onto the mural itself, into the design, inside the FGCU effect letters, and the students make up the FGCU effect. Like, that's the point of it. We'll take it to different events. Like, we could take it to the President's Gala. We'll take it to different sporting events. We'll have it displayed on campus, maybe in the library at some points, Cohen Center. A partner in this project He's in my chemistry lab class, and he's yeah. like, hey, I heard you're a civil engineering student. Uh, can you build us a wall? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that hard. We're using like basic lumber, uh, number two, and then we use plywood, and it's a, a cabinet plywood, so it's a nicer material. When we sand it down, it'll be smooth. The design itself, the FGCU effect letters will be bold. It's the center. We, we're using the athletics eagle as kind of a divider, because behind those letters, we're going to have a huge scene it kind of brings the campus to life. So we have different elements of our campus that'll be turned into a scene that our artists are gonna paint and then the FGCU effect letters will stand out. I feel the point of the FGCU effect is to kind of take pride in your school. It's whatever effect FGCU has had on you. April 13th, it's gonna be from 12 to three and it's gonna be on the library patio. Shortly after the wall was fully built and transported, we went and bought 16 cans of paint in varying shades and colors. We then had to trace the design onto the wall using a projector. This took several hours a day for almost a week. You would not believe how hard it is to project something onto a wall from six feet back, seven days in a row on a tilted cobblestone driveway. After the tracing was completed, we only had about a week and a half up until the event. We worked on the mural in any free time we had, which meant we were painting for six or seven hours a day for about a week. The event itself was a huge success. We got hundreds of pictures of people and even more interested in the project. We really hope to finish this project by May 1st for graduation and commencement and look forward to leaving our permanent mark on the school.